Hi, this is Tomasz from Geekseller. With the growing competition and development of technology, SEO is becoming increasingly important in e-commerce. Common use of free and fast shipping forces sellers to find other ways to reach new customers. Although not always as simple as it may seem, listing optimization can be worthwhile if you cannot find any other reasons why your business is not growing. Fortunately, marketplaces are providing more and more tools to help sellers learn and apply optimization fundamentals. In this video, we gathered the essential information on how to optimize your Walmart products. If you are looking for a written and a more comprehensive version of this guide, you can get it for free by subscribing to our newsletter with the link in the description. But before we dive into the details of Walmart listing optimization, there is one very important point to consider. If you are not a brand owner and sell items that are offered by multiple sellers, you may not be able to update the content of such items at all. In the case of multiple content providers, Walmart algorithm picks the most suitable bits of data to create the best listing from a customer experience standpoint. You can quickly check if you are allowed to change the listing data on product details. If you see this banner, it means that your changes may not be approved. There might also be situations where only part of the data is locked for addition. In such a case, you will see the exclamation marks next to the locked attributes. You can still send your updates to Walmart as content suggestions. However, there is no guarantee that they will be accepted. If the data do not change after about 24 hours, your last option is to reach out to Walmart and submit an appeal. If you are a brand owner offering unique items and still have a hard time updating your products, you may consider applying for Walmart brand portal. You can request a content ownership for your approved branded items here. So to begin with, product quality on Walmart consists of three main factors. Content and discoverability, offer and ratings and reviews. You may be surprised that content does not play a big part in the Walmart listing quality evaluation. Usually, even when this parameter is at 100%, it will make up around 15% of overall listing quality. Nevertheless, you should not neglect it as it is vitally important for product SEO and discoverability on the marketplace. A post-purchase experience like ratings and reviews has a big, bit larger impact on the quality of Walmart listing. But the most crucial element is the offer. So now, let's break down each of these three sections into further components. Product title is one of the first components of your listing that the customer will see. Therefore, it is essential to convey the most crucial information in it. It also plays a massive part in SEO. So you should include the strongest keywords in your title. The product title should have between 50 to 75 characters. Avoid adding too many irrelevant keywords or unnecessary numbers. You can add attributes that may be used in searches of the product, like color, model, or brand. If your item is a part of a group, you can include information about variant, color, size, multipack quantity, etc. The description is mainly used to convey all of the information about the listing. Key features can be used to catch the customer's attention. In general, it is a great place to use keywords you did not use in the title. It has a significant impact on product discoverability, even though it tends to be ignored by customers. Description can have up to 4,000 characters, but it can vary for different categories. Ensure your description is relevant, informative, and easy to understand. Use a lot of synonyms to optimize a listing for the best SEO results. 
include from 3 to 10 key features in the form of short bullet points. Each of key features can have up to 80 characters. One accurate picture can say more than the title and description together. So it is by far the most critical part of Walmart listing optimization. You should add at least four professional, high quality images to your listing. To draw more attention, Walmart recommends adding photos with wide background. Accepted file formats are JPEG, PNG and BMG. The file size should not exceed 5 MB. The image size should be at least 1000 by 1000 pixels. And images must follow Walmart's image policy. On Walmart, there are only a handful of categories to select, but it is important to choose the correct and accurate category that will give you the right attributes. Also, selection of the correct category will ensure your item will be assigned to the proper product shelf and perform better in searches. However, do not be surprised if the category on the listing page is a bit different than the one you selected. As usual, the final category is assigned by the Walmart algorithm. As for the attributes, they help assign your product to the correct category and allows customers to find your items using attribute-based filters. You do not have to provide all of the attributes within the specific category. Use only necessary ones that will provide accurate information about your product. Walmart utilizes a feature called Buy Box, which positions a seller with the best offer first in customer selection. Due to this, competitive pricing is a key to winning more customers. To effortlessly keep your price competitive, you can use the Walmart or Geek Seller repricing tool. If you sell your items on other marketplaces, make sure the price on Walmart is not higher. Otherwise, your product might be unpublished due to price parity. You can offer promotions like reduced price or clearance to gain more attention. Nowadays, offering fast and free shipping is a must to stay competitive. In fact, many times, zero shipping cost is a determining purchase factor. On Walmart, offers with two or three day free shipping are also scored higher in searches. Offer fast shipping through shipping templates or service like Walmart WFS or Deliver. Make the best use of the shipping templates, offering free shipping when possible. Simply keep your items in stock. It should go without saying, but sellers tend to forget how important it is to maintain the constant flow of stock, which fulfill the demand. If your best seller is out of stock for some time, it can lower your listing quality score and perform worse in searches when you get it back up. Monitor your quantity counts often to avoid surprises. You can use Geek Seller Quantity rules to constantly keep items in stock. Your order cancellation and refund rate should be below a specific threshold, displayed on the screenshot. On-time delivery and valid tracking numbers are equally important, so monitor these parameters often. You can find the reports in the performance section of your Walmart account. Make sure to respond to customer messages as it is the only way to get in touch with your customers and leave a positive impression that may turn into a 5-star review. Familiarize yourself with the marketplace policies and comply with them. 
We notice that incorrect interpretations of the policies cause most of the misunderstandings between the seller and the marketplace. You can find the marketplace policies on Walmart Seller Help Portal. Last thing I would like to mention before moving forward is the Walmart Pro Seller Badge. It is a way to reward sellers who take care of the quality of the catalog. The badge is visible for customers and can significantly boost your sales. If you would like to know more, we describe it in detail in another video linked in the description. Okay, so we discussed how to optimize your Walmart products for better SEO results and where to put the keywords. But what if you are uncertain which keywords are best for your products or you do not know what keywords to use in the first place? Or maybe you put a lot of effort in product optimization but you are not sure if you did it right and the only way to find out is to wait several months and monitor the listing results. In both cases, you can use Analytics tab with Growth Opportunities section to access essential SEO data. If you want to work on the quality of your Walmart product and increase exposure, this is where you should start. The Growth Opportunities tab consists of several subsections, but we will cover only the ones related to the listing optimization. In this section, you can check if you have a pro seller badge and the overall listing quality score of your catalog. It also shows you which products require the most attention. You can go into details of each product to check its statistics and guidance on how to increase its quality and optimize it. It is an extremely useful feature as it eliminates the guesswork and allows you to fix the issues immediately. It is basically a list of your unpublished items with a reason for removal and suggestion on what to do to republish them. Please keep in mind that it consists of the most common Walmart issues, so some of your unpublished products might not be listed here. This is a handy tool with detailed statistics on how your items perform in searches. Here you can check how well your keywords perform and get hints about additional keywords. Once you have applied Walmart product optimization rules to create an excellent listing or worked on fixing your catalog, you can track the results in these two sections. Overview shows general information about GMV, units sold, and orders for the given period. You can also check which category or brand of products generated the highest and lowest profit. Performance, on the other hand, is more specific with statistics related to a particular product. These statistics include GMV, units sold, orders, offer views, and conversion. It can help a lot to track the progress of your listing after the optimization. You can also view your ratings, reviews and shipping performance here. Ok, so this is all we have for today. To sum up, on Walmart, the offer and post-purchase experience is equally if not more important than the product content itself. You need to offer excellent shipping standard, reasonable prices and good customer service along with the optimized content. Lacking one of these pillars will ruin your listing score and reputation as a reliable seller. Please keep in mind that you can get written and more extensive version of this guide for free by subscribing to our newsletter with the link in the description. We hope this guide will help you understand the intricacies of Walmart listing optimization and create great listings. 
Pixeler can also help you with some aspects of Walmart listing optimization, so make sure to check our website. If you still have some questions, please contact our support, and we will be happy to help you. Bye.